All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're doing today. We're looking at taking basically this SSD, this uh, SanDisk Ultra SSD, 3D SSD technology is kind of old. And we're gonna install it into this because we don't have the hard drive space to continue using this. something like 32 gigs in there or something ridiculous for storage space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, connect it to the, um, this apparatus that I have here, which is for, for me to clone the hard drive. And then we have Macrium Reflect for uh, using it to clone the hard drive. So. I'm going to try to set this up and see what we can accomplish as far as getting the hard drive clone and all that good stuff. So th maybe this is something that I might want to do on screen, I, I don't know. Let me try to do that. Okay, so it appears that I got my hard drive all hooked up and it's working and everything. You can't see it. So I'll bring it up here. It's a little junction box that's connected. It's got power to the SSD, and then it goes into my USB. So what we're preparing to do is we're just going to clone this hard drive right now using Macrium Reflex free. It's free download. doesn't cost a thing. Macrium Reflect comes in handy. So we're going to start that up. Yes, we wanted to make changes to the hard drive on this computer. And analyze some partitions. Software updates available already. I just installed this today, but I'm gonna drag them down. This is my style of doing it. I'm gonna drag them down one by one. And then put the Acer partition last. And check the sizes. All right, so it looks like we have what we need. There isn't much of a disk to copy, so we're just going to go forward. We don't want to schedule this clone. So this should go pretty fairly quick. Continue. Okay. Firm. All right, so we should be good to go. It's going to take some time to do this, but I don't know how much time to do it. amazing some of the stuff you could do now there's no guarantee that i can i've heard different things about this computer and what you can do with it in terms of the hard drive but it comes down to this 
I don't have any use for this computer unless I do something about the hard drive because I can't upgrade it. It runs kind of slow. I don't know. But it's nice that uh, if I could get this SSD in there, I think I will be cool. And I'll probably get more use out of this machine. And do you know that the, the, my C drive on this Acer was so bad that I had about two gigs left? It's crazy. So this may take a while. I say that I should probably maybe pause some of these recordings. Okay, it seems that we are nearing completion in terms of uh, pulling into the hard drive. We're going to see and um, wait for a second to see that it uh, completes the process successfully. And then we're gonna like we're gonna like you know basically disconnect the hard drive and all that stuff. All right, I think the best appropriate thing to do is since we got all this stuff connected is just to shut it down and then disconnect all the stuff that we need to connect so that we don't mess anything up. That sounds like All right, so that's what we have. And it's still like, you know, checking on everything. And it took us uh, a total 18 minutes and 23 seconds to do it. So, so we hopefully the whole point is to remove this and get this in there and solve our hard drive problem. So I think it's safe to disconnect. Gonna shut down for us. And then we're gonna proceed with the opening and all that good stuff. Alright, you see I don't know if this screw is gonna this screwdriver is gonna work for us, so I'm gonna try something different. I'm currently using the Roy Ace Precision Multifunction Screwdriver Set. It has 119 pieces. Got it from Amazon some time ago. So I'm looking for Phillips. These might be a little bit too small for my liking. But if we could do something with this, let's give it a shot. It's magnetic, so that's cool. 
All right, that works quite well. Yeah, one, one, two, three, four times one, two, three. It's like 12 screws. Two times four is 12. They're all the same size, what I gather. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, we gotta start going. Little fingernail power for us. I'm just gonna rotate it around and try to... get it removed from the keyboard and all that good stuff. Hopefully, oh man, I didn't want to put that back down. Hopefully get a good image of what I'm doing here. Beautiful. So, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at? So I'm thinking that there may not be a provision for connecting my hard drive, which is no good. There's, there's, there's just something missing that I can't quite put my thumb on. So let's get some more light on the topic. See what we have. This is not good. 